All right, the common race for the cure is next Sunday in Hunt Valley, and in that crowd of survivors and their families, there will be some men who have battled breast cancer. You know, it's not very common, but as ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer reports, when breast cancer does strike a husband, father, or brother, its effects can be just as difficult to fight. You gotta help me, baby. In his younger days, Ernie Steele of Overly. I can't do it all by myself sang lead vocals and played a mean harmonica with his band, Blue Steel. Now it's a bit tougher for Ernie to get around, even to his favorite booth at his favorite diner. Glad to be back. Very good. Glad to be back. And, um, in fact, until this visit, Ernie hadn't been to the Double T in White Marsh for more than a year. Ever since a lump he'd noticed on his chest started changing. Well, my nipples started retracting. Mm -hmm. And my, I had no pain though, it was just a lump. Ernie decided to see his doctor. The doctor said go get a mammogram and that's when they discovered it. Discovered a five centimeter lump in his right breast and it was cancerous. Just like that, Ernie Steele, blues harmonica player, transformed into Ernie Steele, breast cancer fighter. Men are not immune from breast cancer. They do have breast tissue, just much less of it than women. In fact, less than 1% of men will get breast cancer. Well, I guess I'm le the less than 1%. That's the first thing I thought of. But it is more common in men with female relatives who've had certain kinds of breast cancer, especially if they develop the disease at a young age. Men like Ernie Steel. My recent patient Ernie, we tested him and he did in fact have a mutation in the BRCA2 gene and that increases the risk of uh, breast cancer in males. Ernie went through chemotherapy to shrink the tumor. It worked, but it also made it harder for him to use his hands and his feet. So he's had to put down that harmonica. Then he had a mastectomy, radiation, and more chemotherapy. After all that... Well, I'm cancer-free now. Cancer-free and hoping other men will listen to his story. If they have even a little lump, get it checked out. Because they could fall into the less than 1% as I did. He says he's thankful to be able to spend more time with his grandkids. I want to thank God for bringing me through this. And it, with the prayers from my friends and family and the support from my friends and family, I could not have got through. And he's looking forward to the day when he'll be able to pick that harmonica back up again. Reporting from Baltimore County, Christian Schaefer. Get on out of this town. ABC 2 News. Hopefully we'll see Ernie out there in Hunt Valley, yeah, huh? Yeah. ABC 2 is your station for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. The race is Sunday, October 23rd in Hunt Valley, and we're going to be out there live telling stories like Ernie's and other stories of survival. Mm. Still got time to register and raise money for a great cause. All you have to do is head to abc2news.com slash Komen, and you'll find all the information right there.